What's up YouTube? So it's your girl Jay is me and we're back today with another press on toenail video and I got these press ons from Shein. They're so cute y'all. The French tip and it got like a little glitter mm -hmm. on it. But yeah. So I'm just showing you guys my equipment for today. I got a few things. And also you guys have seen that glue a few times. And let me just tell you. It's dried out. So I hope you guys enjoy this video because it's going to be very interesting. All right, so the first thing I'm doing is cutting my nails down. And you wanna make sure you do this because if you don't, your nail will show underneath that press hole nail and that's not gonna be cute. So now that my toes are cut down, I'm going to go ahead and push my cuticle back. I like to do this because when you do this, it allows the press on nail to seem like it's actually like an acrylic nail. If you do it the correct way, like it'll look so nice because it looks like it's coming out of your skin. Like it's your actual nail. So I try to make sure I do this every time. I didn't like the one I was using. So if you have a wood one, I feel like the wood one would work even better. Cause this one, I don't know. It just, it just, I feel like it wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. So next I'm just gonna take my file and file my nails down and buff my nail as well. I'm gonna soon get a buffer. So you guys, please spare me. <laughs> So yeah, so I'm just buffing them out, making sure that the nail sticks because you need to buff them out to make sure the nail sticks because the glue is going to slide right off. It's not going to be able to stick to anything. Sooner or later, I'm going to get a drill and then I can drill the inside of the press on nails because that will also make it stay and last longer. So now I'm just spraying my toes down with the bit of alcohol I have left. <laughs> but you want to do this to make sure you get any dust and debris off your toes before adding the glue to your toenails. Because if you do, it is not going to stick. Alright you guys, so bear with me during this process. So now I'm about to go ahead and place the press on nails on my toes. So mind you, like I said earlier in the video, that glue was dried out. I literally had to use a tool to get it out and it was so sticky like yeah I just knew it was gonna work and last for too long but I had to review the nails for you guys okay but the nails are cute and durable I love how they feel because some press on nails if you get them they're like so thin to the to the point where it's like it scratches you and I hate that like no i don't mm -mm. but these were very durable like i like them the only thing about these from the other ones that i reviewed they don't have like the little tabs on them to where it's easier to apply so it's kind of harder to put them on but it wasn't that hard it's just the simple fact that my glue <laughs> was on his last leg so yeah but the pretzel nails are cute like like I like them I just feel like maybe the pink like the nude pink could have been a little bit different I don't know I'm just not feeling the light 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 pink but it's cute it's giving but mind you like I said these did not last too long because that glue so yeah 
after that I'm gonna re-up and then I'm gonna do another press on nail video for y'all So now I'm going to go ahead and take my file and kind of like clean up around the nail. Like I like to make them look very realistic. So I do this by buffing out the top and the sides and make them all even to my nail bed. And oop, a nail came off. I told you guys that glue was, that glue is, uh, -uh. so yeah, ignore that part. I'm going to fix it. <laughs> So after I file them, I just try to spray them down again and clean up any dust that I've created from filing them again. All right, so now I'm taking my gel polish from Kiss and just putting a little light coat on top of the press on nails. Like I said, I like to make everything look realistic, so it helps make it look like you just came from the nail salon. So, y'all do this. And anything that I use today, I will link it in my description. So, just look in there if you want any of the items that I have in this video. So the last thing that I do is I take my vitamin E oil and I try to use it as a cuticle oil. I love vitamin E. It's like very hydrating and moisturizing. So I recommend vitamin E oil to anybody that struggles with dry skin. Thanks you guys. So this is the finished look. They are so cute. Love them, love them, love them. Gonna try them again with a different glue. But yes, you guys, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I love you. Stay blessed and we out. Peace.